We interrupt our program to bring you a special broadcast. Boom! Headshot! Hey, it's Clay. How you guys doing? I play another Battlefield 3 game. This is some Wake Island defense rush. Rocking the SV-98 again. Cannot help it. Uh, but using the uh, 412 Rex, it's kind of quickly turning into one of my favorite sidearms. It's really, really effective close range. And this tank driver was kind of an idiot. But it is so good close range when you're trying to play aggressively. Um, it has almost take, overtaken the from the G18 suppressed as my favorite because it is a little bit more effective medium to long range. But uh, this was a really competitive match. All of these... Um, all these objectives were really highly contested, went down to like under 10 uh, tickets. I was really, thoughts had had some really cool and interesting kills uh, towards the end of the match that really uh, kept us in the game. And I was just really happy with uh, the way I played. Uh, you know, as a recon player, you always want to make sure you're helping your team, and I thought I did a good job with that this round. Uh, but what I really want to talk about today is, you know, sometimes your heart is a little bit heavy because you've been dealing with, you know, just some weightier issues in life. And, you know, it's something that we all face, whether we want to or not. And it's almost like, you know, you're living your life and you, th you try to keep your life, you know, as upbeat and positive as you can. But you just, you have to deal with these things sometimes, you know, whether you want to or not. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. But, uh, you know, and what really kind of spawned this was, um, you know, so I'm, in, I'm actually a student. I'm in law school right now. And, you know, we're reading some cases on the abortion issue. It's one of the... Uh, hotly debated constitutional rights, you know, the, contrasting the woman's right to privacy and choice versus the fetus's right to live. And, you know, I don't, I, I'm not going to get into the specifics of this debate. I'm not going to try to take a side. It's, uh, it's a very complex and very uh, emotional issue. It's one of those things where, you know, when you're, when you're talking about uh, the rights of an unborn child, I mean, that's just, it's a very, very complex and weighty matter and then you're also talking about in the same sentence you're talking about the rights of a woman and in some ways women have you know been had of a history of discrimination against them in this country which is unfortunate but anyways I, I'm not going to get into it but you know I was reading an opinion a Supreme Court opinion uh, this was actually one of the most recent ones uh, dealing with partial birth abortions and it was it was really difficult. Uh, I was actually driving home last night from a friend's wedding and my wife was reading the case. It was really heavy stuff. I mean, she was almost tearing up and crying just because this is, I mean, the details are very explicit. I mean, because these Supreme Court justices, they have to, you know, explain what they're dealing with and they, they have to explain the issue. And, and in this type of a case, I mean, the the emotional charge is, you can't deny it. You, it's impossible to deny it. Um, and then, actually, also, uh, last night, there was just, you know, it, it, it's YouTube drama, yes, but it, it was specifically centered around uh, Wings of Redemption and uh, kind of some stuff that he was saying on Twitter. And, uh, you know, Wings is a guy that I've followed for a long time. Um, and just to speak for a moment about him, I think he's a really great guy. I actually, uh, he's, one of, <clears throat> he's one of the Call of Duty guys that has really stuck with me. You know, so even since I've stopped playing Call of Duty... I really uh, I like him. I like him as a person, and I think that he's uh, I think he's a very interesting guy. He wears his emotions on his sleeve. He's very polarizing. Um, and even for myself, there have been days where I've just got raging mad at some of the stuff he says, and I unsub. But then I always kind of find my way back to him, just because I think uh, he's such a he's such an interesting guy to listen to. But he was just saying some stuff on Twitter and gotten really mad at people. And I think every once in a while, and actually. He, I mean, he made a video about it, and I watched that video, and just kind of browsing through the comment section, it is, it puts a pit in my stomach to read through one of Wings' comment sections. I mean, you know, I'm, I've been on YouTube for a while, I've got this channel, I've got a guitar channel, and you know, you kind of get a little bit used to hate. I mean, it just happens. People get buttered on the internet. Uh, you can't, you know, put in sarcasm on the internet, but it's, it's one of those things where he gets so much hate, and it's, it's absurd. It's actually... It's crazy. I mean, I think for the amount of, for the kind of guy that he is, he just is a magnet to this kind of stuff. And, and you know, I think the real kicker is that it really affects him. It really, truly uh, affects him in ways that it maybe does not touch other YouTubers. Um, yeah, that's it's just the way that it is. And it's, it's really hard to kind of swallow this. It's really hard to just kind of stand by and watch this happen. Because it's it's it sucks. I mean, it's for some of the people, these people to say the things that they say, 
it is just appalling to me. Um, you know, so my what I'm really have been thinking about though is, you know, so these things happen. Every all of us deal with stuff like this. All of us deal with these weighty matters. But I think that it's important to find a really acceptable way to cope with it. I think coping is it's it's hard. It's it's one of those things I think that gets a lot of people in trouble. I mean, if you look at most people with addictions, they turn to their addiction because they don't have a coping mechanism. They've had something traumatic happen to them in their life and they have a really hard time coping with it. So they turn to this addiction. And they know that it's uh that it's destructive. They know that it's hurting them, but at the same time they almost don't want to they're not willing to you know, give it up because it's easier to just fall into this addiction. And these these are these are really it's tough stuff. And it's not just for people with eating disorders or drug addictions. I mean, this, we all have to deal with this. We all have to deal with uh, weighty matters. We all have to deal with times when life is difficult. And so yeah, I've just I've been uh, kind of thinking about that lately. And you know, it's one of those things where you have to do what's difficult because uh, I truly think that it's that's usually what is best. Um, it's difficult to deal with some of these emotions, but I think it's best to just be upfront and confront them and deal with them and just kind of admit, you know what, I'm feeling down right now, and uh, that's okay because I know it will pass. But you know, be upfront about it and just say, hey, this is what's bothering me and it sucks. And you know, and and sometimes, you know, it's also really important to rely on other people to have other people in your life that can build you back up because, you know. One of the crazy things about the human mind is that it is so powerful. I mean, mind over matter, it's it's crazy. And, you know, even you hear about people who, like, get these crazy medical illnesses. And, you know, just by, like, keeping a fighting spirit, they would live, like, twice as long as they should. Or even on the opposite, people who um, have something heartbroken happen to them, you know, they just kind of go downhill really fast because they kind of have lost, you know, that will to live. So it's it's definitely uh, important to have other people around you that you can kind of rely on and they can have your back and you can bring these types types of things too because yeah there's a lot of strength in numbers and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of you know importance if in that kind of a thing so it's 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 tough but uh, you know I think there's always a bright side there's always um, there's always something greater to look forward to and and you know I I just uh, it's it's hard to really like talk about these kinds of things without getting into things like religion or um, you know pol politics or all that jazz. Uh, you know I'm I'm gonna try my best to remain a little bit more neutral. That's not necessarily what I want to do on this channel. But in the end, um, you know it's it's we all have to deal with these things and we all have to find ways to cope. And you know I think uh, that it's important. And I just every once in a while I think it's good to feel these kinds of things. You know. Th thinking about something like abortion, reading about the actual details of a, you know, second term trimester abortion. If you haven't done it, I think that it's something that everybody should do. I think everybody should have an understanding of what that actually means. Uh, because, you know, I think a lot of people, you know, they, they know what abortion is in like a general sense, but they don't actually know like what the doctor does uh, or what actually happens. Um, and I think that's important. I think it's because it's such a emotionally charged topic, I think that it's necessary that we all be on the same page and we're all informed. You know, but then on the same respect, on the same extent, I think it's important not to criminalize or demonize people that have a different opinion than you. Uh, you know, because they might have that opinion for a, a reason that you don't know or that they don't want to share with you. Because like I said, this is a really polarizing type of a topic. Um, so yeah, overall, sometimes life is hard, but... Uh, we all have to cope with it, and so, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's just, it's good to think about these topics, it's good to deal with them, because, uh, you know, it's it's a part of life, so, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, a little bit more serious commentary from me, but sometimes life is serious, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.